kids miss kulkarni here so we are going to continue with more stoichiometry calculations in this video now just to remind you one more time mole is the heart of chemistry and the road map for convergence always goes through moles so if you are going to go through particles to moles or vice versa or moles to mass and mass to moles it's one step process so in this video we are going to actually focus only on this area converting from particles to moles and moles to particles now let me explain to you in particles when we use the word particles there are three different terms along with that so atoms formula units and molecules all correspond to nothing but particles atom is something we use for elements formula units and molecules they go for covalent and ionic uh, molecules but that's for the bigger compounds but either way they all are nothing but simply particles this is the magic number which you know about and that magic number is called avogadro's number what it tells you is one mole of any substance will always contain 6.022 and 10 to the 23rd particles and i'm just going to use simply p for particles all right so let's look at our very first problem this is asking how many moles are there in so many 8.24 tend to the 26 molecules of water remember molecules and this is water so we are still dealing with nothing but particles so your road map is going to go from particles to how many moles so it is particles to moles and it will be a single step process okay do we need to find molar mass in this no because the magic number already is given there so we don't need to worry about molar mass that means we don't need to worry about even chemical formula so let's get this straight so if you are going to do this conversion i'm going to use my grid and that's my road map whatever i get in the road map goes in the top of the grid this is particles this is moles and i always begin with the given number which is this 8.24 times 10 to the 24 so many particles and then i have mole here i want to get the final answer in moles so in order to cancel particles diagonally across i put particles and i'm going to use this equation 1 mole is equal to that number of magic number of particles so i can put that value here 1 and that whole magic number comes here 6.022 10 to the 23 that's our setup for the problem the next step is we cancel the units particles and what is left over when we solve it algebraically we end up getting the answer in moles and that answer we are getting as 1.37 and 10 to the third moles all right let's do some more practice so here it is this is asking you how many formula units remember again that is still particles are there in 0.75 moles of sodium bromide so your road map is simply moles to how many particles right it's one step process so let's write down in the grid this is moles and this is particles given number 0.75 comes over here and then i need to cancel moles so that gets over here and now you know it's simple thing one mole is equal to the magic number which is 6.022 10 to the 23rd so many particles so there i go i cancel moles again and i solve mathematically the equation which gives me 4.52 and 10 to the 23rd particles or which are nothing but formula units all right so we got that answer let's do one more problem for practice how many moles of carbon dioxide are present in so many molecules 
again remember molecules is particles so your road map goes from particles to we have to find out how many moles are there so it's simply one step process that's my grid and we get particles to moles given particles that's going to be in numerator on the top of the grid that's 4.55 10 to the 24th in order to cancel particles should be diagonally across over here and now it's the ratio of mole and particles so mole is 1 and that's the magic number Avogadro's number okay and you cancel particles and you solve and you get the answer there is one thing I would ask you to keep in mind when you are dividing all these numbers by exponent it might be a good idea to put parenthesis for those and then actually divide or multiply because otherwise you may end up getting a totally wrong answer so in this case finally when we solve I end up getting the answer 7.56 moles so look at this I think by this time you are clear how to take one stop journey from moles to mass or mass to moles and also moles to particles and particles to moles so are you ready for more fun okay i'll see you in next video bye bye